Gun violence claims yet another life in Detroit, and this time the victim was not the intended target. He was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Fox 2's Randy Wimbley live tonight with more on what happened. Randy? Hey guys, police tell me the alleged gunman stuck around at the scene after the shooting and that's where officers took him into custody. They say that this situation underscores the importance of conflict resolution, de-escalation and simply taking the high road. And if any of that would have happened earlier today, two men would be alive tonight. This was not my thought when waking up that I would have to be, you know, to come to the store and, and uh, be told that my brother had been accidentally shot. Two men are dead, and a third is behind bars after an argument escalated to gunplay at this liquor store on Detroit's west side. Police say the suspect got into a spat with another man at the Party Plus liquor store on Wyoming and Orange Lawn around 11 a.m. Tuesday. Investigators say the suspect went to his car, grabbed a metal pipe, and started hitting the man with it. That victim went to a work bag and retrieved a uh, metal pry bar. Uh, he attempted to uh, defend himself, uh, and our suspect fired two shots from uh, his weapon. Uh, our suspect is a, a CPL holder. Assistant Police Chief Charles Fitzgerald says one of those shots struck the first victim the suspect was arguing with, who later died. The other hit Raimondo Bankhead, an innocent bystander. A stray bullet hit him and uh, he didn't make it. Sharita Welling says Bankhead is her brother and was their mother's caregiver. He was uh, compassionate, affectionate, strong-willed, very kind. In as much as we know now, legally, can this guy make a legitimate claim to self-defense? Legitimate, no. Uh, again, first of all, the, the gentleman left the scene, okay? And what people don't understand is when you leave the scene, at that point, the fight is over. He grabbed something and decided to go back. Terry Johnson is a firearms instructor and attorney that specializes in Michigan's gun and self-defense laws. He says if you carry a gun, you should aim to avoid or de-escalate conflicts. And as tragic as this situation is, he says the suspect in it is not typical of most CPL holders. Again, 700,000 people or more have a concealed pistol license in the state of Michigan. And you will expect no matter what it is, whether it's a politician, whether it's a police officer, whoever, you're always gonna have one bad apple in there that slips through the cracks. Again, two people have died. A suspect is in custody. Police have interviewed him and tell me that they planned on sending a warrant to the prosecutor's office for a charging decision sometime tomorrow morning or Thursday.